he paid a lot of attention to me. He spent time sort of standing there and held my hand longer than he should have and gave what others have described as the full Bill Clinton. It feels as if you're the only person standing there. It's the infamous start to an illicit affair, one that nearly toppled a president. My uh, underwear had showing my thong underwear, and I thought, well, I'll up the game. Monica Lewinsky speaking out about the flirtatious moments that landed her squarely at the center of a White House scandal. I kind of have to laugh at my younger self, but that was when my crush started. The unpaid intern and the commander in chief. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Now for Lewinsky, a new reckoning with her past in a revealing six-part docu-series entitled The Clinton Affair, airing on A&E. Front and center, President Clinton's reckless behavior, which almost cost him his presidency. Fresh out of college, Lewinsky catches the eye of the president as he's leaving the White House and goes out of her way to catch it again. I did this really silly thing. I ran home at lunchtime and I put back on the sage green suit I had been wearing the day before when he paid attention to me. And I thought, well, maybe he'll notice me again. And notice me he did. Lewinsky, now 45, reflects back on her own naivete, which she says led her to their disastrous liaison. The truth is, is that I, I think it meant more to me that someone who other people desired, desired me. However wrong it was, however um, misguided, for who I was in that very moment at 22 years old, that was how it felt. In an essay for Vanity Fair, Lewinsky says she took part in the documentary to acknowledge her past behavior, which she still regrets and feels ashamed of. In the era of Me Too, the story of a young intern's entanglement with the most powerful man in the world and its aftermath now examined in a completely new light by director Blair Foster. There's a real power imbalance here. I don't think you get a greater imbalance between the president of the United States and an intern. She was slut shamed, she was fat shamed. It was open season on Monica Lewinsky. 100%, it was brutal. Over the course of two years, they had multiple sexual encounters, engaged in phone sex, even exchanging gifts. Amidst all the turmoil, Lewinsky began confiding in an older colleague named Linda Tripp. When I tell you that I I never expected to feel this way about him. And I'm not kidding you. Unbeknownst to Monica, Tripp started recording phone conversations about every intimate detail, including a dress Monica believed was stained with the president's semen. The navy blue dress. Now, all I would say to you is, I know how you feel today, but you have a very long life ahead of you. I would rather you had that in your possession if you need it years from now. Linda, hi, it's Mommy. Monica, darling, hold on. The imbalance of their seeming friendship portrayed on SNL. <laughs> All while President Clinton is already under a microscope, fighting a lawsuit alleging sexual misconduct. Paula Jones claimed that the then Arkansas governor asked her for a sexual favor while she was a state clerk. In May of 91, Bill Clinton harassed me on the job and then basically told me, let's keep this between ourselves. Did you ever ask Paula Jones to kiss your penis? No, I did not. Paula Jones's attorneys got a tip from an unexpected source, Lewinsky's confidant, Linda Tripp. So with knowledge of the affair, Jones's attorney asked President Clinton about Lewinsky. He lied under oath. I, I never had uh, sexual relations with Monica Lewinsky. I've never had an affair with her. Bill Clinton handed the sword to his enemies. In January 1998, he held a press conference delivering that now notorious proclamation. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. Lewinsky recalls being confronted by FBI agents who threatened her with lengthy jail time for denying the affair, lying under oath in the Paula Jones case. They wanted her to turn against the president, but she refused. They imagined that I would have flipped really easily. They had no plan in place for what would happen if I said no. There was a point for me somewhere in this sort of first several hours where I would be hysterically crying and then I would just shut down. And in the shutdown period, I remember looking out the window and thinking that the only way to fix this was to kill myself, was to jump out the window. And 
and um, I, I just, I felt terrible. I was scared and I just, I was mortified and afraid of what this was gonna do to my family and, you know, I still was in love with Bill at the time. Um, so I just, I felt really responsible. Lewinsky eventually struck a deal for total immunity. In exchange, she gave up key pieces of evidence, including those gifts from the president and that blue dress, the physical proof of their relationship. I was going to the White House in the dark of night to take a blood sample from the sitting president of the United States to compare with a semen stain on a dress of a 22-year-old. President Clinton would undergo impeachment hearings in the fall of 1998. I don't remember exactly what I did say with her. That's what you say I said. The prospect of impeachment can never be far from President Clinton's mind these days. For only the second time in history, the House of Representatives would vote to impeach a president, but the Senate later voted to acquit. He leaves office with, I think, something along the lines of a 65% uh, approval rating. But Monica's role in the Clinton affair, forever etched in the memory of the American public, skewered on late night shows. Bill, you already said you had no sexual relationship with Monica. And hounded by the press. I think we're learning more and more right now, too, in the Me Too movement around people in power just how reckless they act. Earlier this year, Mr. Clinton was asked about the scandal by NBC. I, well, I asked if you'd ever apologized, and you said you had. I have. You've apologized to her. I apologize to everybody in the world that wrong. But you didn't apologize to her, at least according to, to folks that we've talked to. There was never a, an apology. Made. I have not talked to her. Do you I, feel I like you owe it, her an apology? No, I do. I, I, I do not. I have never talked to her. But I did say publicly on more than one occasion that I was sorry. And then just last month, Hillary Clinton was asked by CBS if time had changed her opinion. And in retrospect, do you think Bill should have resigned, President Clinton should have resigned in the 90s in the wake of the Monica Lewinsky scandal? Absolutely not. So it wasn't an abuse of power? No. Despite the re-examination that Me Too may have brought, Lewinsky still contends that it hasn't come far enough for her. Writing in that essay for Vanity Fair, what feels more important to me than whether I am owed or deserving of a personal apology is my belief that Bill Clinton should want to apologize. I'm less disappointed by him and more disappointed for him. He would be a better man for it, and we, in turn, a better society. Monica apologizes to both Hillary and, and Chelsea. I mean, I think she's deeply remorseful. Monica has always been very upfront about this was a consensual affair and her regret in that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.